What's up, guys? It's Top Shelf TTMs here with a TTM Mail Day for January 7th, 2013. It's actually a recap from Friday, Saturday, and today. I was out of town for a few days, so I couldn't make any videos. Um, but uh, catching up now. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you a uh, pickup for the game used auto collection. It's of Yonder Alonzo. It's a green refractor. I think it's limited to one, yeah, 199. Uh, picked that up on eBay. I've actually been picking up a lot of these on eBay recently um, and simple reason being that it's cheaper to get them and then take the chance of Buying a game used card because you're gonna do the game used autograph collection then sending it both ways and Maybe not getting it back with some of these guys. I think I paid four dollars for this or three dollars for this you know, I'm looking at a dollar in postage and I still have to buy the card if I want a game used card without an autograph that's going to be a couple bucks minimum. So I'm basically at the same number, and I don't know if I'm going to get it back. So, um, you know, with some of these guys, it just makes more sense. I think I just bought a lot of them, um, five of them for 20 bucks. That's $4 each, and there's some big names in there um, that I know don't sign TTM. So it just seemed uh, more reasonable. So that's where that's at. All right, on to the TTMs. Uh, first off, coming back from who knows where. In eight days, zero of three did not sign any of my stuff, but added two things, autographs four and five for the year. That's actually incorrect because I forgot the Alonzo, so it's actually autographs five and six on the year. It's from Wally Moon, did not sign this photo, which is the one I really wanted. I was hoping to try to get him to sign it too. <clears throat> did not sign that. Vin Scully, and he did not sign the Sports Illustrated, but he sent me a letter. Pretty lengthy, actually, but he basically just says in the letter that um, he doesn't sign photos that have been lifted. By photograph, it means he put lifted in quotes, and he said especially those from Sports Illustrated, it just doesn't seem right to him. He says he does charge a fee for autographs, but he gives some away freely, and he said, you know, he was enclosing a 8x10 photo there, and he actually mentioned my grandmother in the letter, and I told him that she was actually a big baseball fan, 90 years old now, and but still can remember all the old players up and down like it's nothing. and um, So he mentioned that in there, so that's pretty cool. So nice success there from him. Uh, nice auto. Uh, happy with that. All right, now two more. First one here from Phoenix, Arizona. Three of three in 52 days. Again, that's one off, so it's autographs seven through nine of the year. From Rich Aurelia. Signed this 2002 Tops Thin Sharpie. Doesn't look that great on there, but it does look good in person. This Leaf, uh, I'm sorry, Fleer Showcase looks great on there as well. And then also this SP card. So happy with those. All right, then finally, one of one, 10 days. That's actually autograph 10 from Spokane, Washington from Don Larson, if anybody has it written to him and you want his address, there it is. He sent me back a price list. I guess he sent some photos and stuff and if you want to buy them. Actually, one of them on here is kind of interesting. Photo number four, eight by 10 glossy photograph of catcher Yogi Berra jumping on Don Larson with joy and congratulating after the last pitch of the perfect game with the original signatures of both for $40. That's actually cheaper than Barra alone um, to get. So not bad price there. It's quite a bit cheaper than Barra. So, but anyway, um, got another one back for the game use collection. Had a game use card of him. Nice pinstripe in there. Um, and then got that signed. And here's an example of what I was talking about. Um, I think I paid $10 for this card, knowing that Larson signed. But, I mean, not with him, if I wanted a certified auto with a piece of jersey, they were going ridiculously high. So it wasn't worth it. In this case, I just bought this and then sent it to him to get it signed. Uh, that was actually the cheapest I found. Nothing was really selling under $30 with a piece in there. But, like I said, with, like, Alonzo, who I don't even think signs TTM, you know, I basically was at the break-even point, probably spending even a little bit more just to get one without an autograph, and then to add, you know, send it to him and hopefully get his signature. So why not just buy a certified one in that case? So that's basically been my reasoning on it. Happy with the Larson. Awesome card to get back. Looks great. 
great piece of pinstripe there from the old Yankee uniform. So up to $10 on the year. Can't complain too bad. Uh, nice little recap there. Hopefully uh, a lot more coming in the days to come. Catch you guys later.